Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, I am Fitra Nasari. At this meeting, I will try to review one of the material from Pragmatics. So let's jump to the video. During the act of communication, speaker and listener cooperating to reach the same understanding with the coding of expression, word choices, and connection that were used to describe something. The cooperating understanding will only occur when both of them have successfully received a mutual interpretation of what being expressed. According to that, now I will try to give explanation that deals with reference and inference. From Oxford Dictionary, reference is defined as a thing that speaker says or writes that mentions something or somebody else. For easier understanding, referring is simply labeling or tagging for identifying something. On the other hand, inference is an outcome from what listener receive from the speaker. In the scope of reference and inference, there are several aspects. The first one is referential and attributive use. The concept of referring to something doesn't always match the physical image or entity. Sometimes it can be something that we label it as unknown. For the example, there is a beautiful girl waiting for you in the building. I would be happy to find an icy white cotton falling from the sky in Indonesia. Abdul wants to join the Surabaya Screen Force. I don't get any sense of the thief. No matter how hard it is, the lover will come true. Kata e, en, dan de ini disebut attributive use. Karena bisa dipasangkan dengan siapa saja, apa saja, ataupun yang tidak diketahui entitasnya. Tidak hanya sebatas itu, attributive use bisa menjadi frasa seperti the thief and the lover. Sedangkan referential use itu merujuk pada entitas lain yang pembicara itu sendiri sudah memahami artinya. Biasanya ekspresi ini digunakan untuk lebih menarik pendengar. Contohnya, Beautiful girl, I see white cotton falling from the sky, and Surabaya screen force. Pembicara sudah tahu makna masing-masing pada frasa ini, seperti Beautiful girl. Pembicara bisa saja mendeskripsikan Beautiful girl dengan suatu nama, tapi alih-alih dengan menyebut nama, si penulis atau si pembicara itu menggunakan ekspresi beautiful girl. Selanjutnya, I see white cotton falling from the sky. Dalam makna ini yang dimaksud adalah salju. Dan yang terakhir adalah Surabaya Green Force. Atau yang seperti kita sebut eco green atau penghijauan gitu ya. Oke, okay, number two, name and referring. In referring to something, people can also use name. For example, can I borrow your Sukarno? Or Titanic takes over the whole upper shelf. When I say, can I borrow your Sukarno, it doesn't mean borrowing the Sukarno in real person, because he already passed away. But, when the name Sukarno is associated with borrow, listener can infer something else that is not a human named Sukarno, but his biography book. The same goes to Titanic takes over the whole upper shelf. It's not Titanic shape but a titanic book. How is that so? Because titanic associated with upper shelf, so we can infer that is about a book. This association between Sukarno and Paro is called pragmatic connection. Number three, significance of cotex. Cotex is a linguistic material that helping us to depict what reference is actually referring to. Every single unit of cortex is important to discover the meaning when the certain expression is placed to the same position inside the sentence. For example, Titanic was in its maiden voyage. And Titanic was considered as the best in romantic category. What we should pay attention to here is the groups of words after Titanic that bring us to each interpretation. If the Titanic we are talking about is the maiden voyage, then it can be said that it is about the ship. But if it's romantic category, then we talk about Hollywood film. So we can know that the maiden voyage and romantic category is the cortex. 
so the codex has big impact because it has a significant role in the listener's interpretation. Number four, anaphoric reference. During communication, it's almost impossible to always use short expression separately. If so, the sentence will be very long, ineffective, and also sound monotonous, so we use kind of reference. In this discussion, there's three kind of reference. The first one is anaphoric reference. can be said to be anaphoric reference if the noun are at the beginning. For example, Fabi went to the cinema. She was annoyed because it was closed. Here it can be explained that the pronouns she refers to Fabi and it refers to cinema. The explanation from Risa and the cinema is earlier than the pronouns, which are at the beginning of the sentence. This position is called the anaphoric reference. Number two, cataphoric reference. Cataphoric reference is the opposite of anaphoric reference, which occurs when a pronoun word or phrase is mentioned after the first sentence. For example, although I phone her every week, my mother still complains that I don't keep in touch often enough. Based on the example above, we know that her refers to my mother. The explanation from my mother is after the first sentence, so a position like this is called a cataphoric reference. In summary, if the explanation is at the beginning, then it is anaphoric. But if the explanation is at the end, then it is cataphoric. So the third is zero anaphora or ellipsis. For example, now sleep for 15 minutes or struggle for years before you intend to stop. The words given are clear and firm. There is no ambiguity in the sentence. So that's all from me. I hope my explanation can be delivered nicely. If there's any mistake in my explanation, please correct me if I'm wrong. And thanks for watching my video. Bye!